How is everyone doing tonight? Woo! Hey, you know, I'm always looking for new tricks I can do when I come here, but there are some I realize that I just have no desire to do whatsoever, either because of moral reasons or just because they're stupid tricks. Like, I don't do cold reading. I've heard a lot of people say if you want to be a good mentalist, you have to know cold reading, but I can't do that mainly because, well, one thing, I have Asperger's and I'm horrible at reading people. <laughs> And uh, for another thing, I don't want to end up inadvertently manipulating anyone because there actually are people who think that you can read their minds or talk to the dead and see into the future. And those people vote. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. That's actually a horrifying thought. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, some other tricks I don't do. I don't do uh, iPhone tricks because everyone knows that's just an app. So, and it's probably an expensive app, so you just paid a lot for something everyone already knows the secret to. <laughs> I don't do Rubik's Cube tricks because it's not the 1980s anymore, who cares about Rubik's Cubes. I don't do progressive anagrams. Some of you probably don't know what that is. It's not the latest uh, leftist buzzword. It's basically, <laughs> it's a routine where someone picks something out of a group, you know, like countries or superheroes and you're able to figure out what it is by just asking for like two or three letters. So it's basically a dressed up form of guessing and there's nothing really impressive about that. <laughs> and then there's one trick that, uh, that I've kind of waffled on. It's what's called the magic square. It's basically someone gives the magician a number and they jot down this grid, fill it in with numbers and then it turns out that every single row and column adds up to the selected number. I mean, it's an impressive display of math skills, but there's a lot of downtime when they're writing down the numbers. So I decided to skip that. I drew the I drew the square already. So I'm giving a number. Anyone giving a number? Seven. Seven. Is that you, Lisa? Mm -hmm. Perfect. Seven. Well, we got that here, and if we add one, two, three, and okay, yeah, that didn't work. Plan B. <laughs> <laughs> Lisa, would you like to join me up here? Oh, sure. Everyone, give it up for Lisa. <laughs> You like math? No. Okay, then you're probably not going to like this. All right. <laughs> All right. Now, okay, I've got this magic square here. I've got a couple of markers. Okay. I just want to make sure they're good. Yeah, they're good. <laughs> okay, now, Lisa, uh -huh. you can pick any one of these five markers. Okay. okay. Go ahead and grab one. Purple. Okay, now I want you to circle any number you see on that grid, 1 through 16, okay? Okay. Okay. Are you going to watch? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay. This is like some that's, secret shit. No, that's, okay, it's like a circle of 12. Yeah. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to draw a line through the row and the column here. All those numbers will be removed. Perfect. Can't use them anymore. Okay. All right, choose another marker. Okay. Yellow. Circle one of the remaining numbers. 15. Okay, now do the same thing. Line through and. Okay, perfect. But we're laying it down. Okay. It's like the uh, presidential primaries, only it's not rigged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I do the same thing again? Yep, choose a third number. And do the same thing. Draw the. Okay. Now you get to choose one more marker. Okay. Okay, and one more. Well, it's pretty obvious which number you gotta pick now. Sure. Okay. <laughs> that one. Perfect. Okay, so you have circle. Part of the beast. One, six, twelve, and fifteen. Mm -hmm. Someone, anyone want to add these up? So you have your calculator phone. Plus twelve. Plus what is what is it again? Thirty-four. Thank you. Thirty-four. <laughs> Thirty-four. Okay. Now. You like this? Okay, well, there it goes easy. <laughs> that little envelope here. Okay. In this envelope, it's a little piece of paper. On that paper. Oh. <laughs> there was one more thing. You had a choice from five markers. You picked purple, then yellow, then red. Then, I mean, purple, purple then yellow, yellow. Green, then red. Green, then red, correct. Okay. Yeah. So, the blue one remained untouched.
Okay, I got that one wrong. You <laughs> <laughs> would be unpopular. Well, you know, it's still halfway right, so I'm going to count that as a win. <laughs>